Now, for me, the only time I ever came close to having a genuinely profound religious experience was when I was standing right outside my local supermarket. It was next to the trolleys that my life changed profoundly. There was an enormous flight simulator run by a mysterious man. The mysterious man said it was the most sickening ride in Britain. It was a very good simulation of a standard commercial flight taking off. But then three minutes in, an amazing thing happened. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to tell you we've lost control of this aircraft. Our engines have caught fire and we're now falling through the air at a speed of 500 miles per hour. There's very little chance that any of us will survive the impact. I'm sorry. By now, we all experienced what it was like to sit in a rapidly depressurised, burning lump of molten metal hurtling to the ground. We used these last remaining minutes to evaluate our lives and think of the things we always wanted to do. This man decided to start up his own garden design business, using nearby serviettes to sketch a business plan. This woman had always wanted to lose half a stone and started eating lots of salad. Suddenly, I was hit by a startling revelation that up to half of my life had been completely pointless. I thought of the 14 months I wasted going down Anderson Street before I discovered the shortcut down Whitney Grove. Or the weekend I tried taking up kiting on an inappropriately elevated common. I totted up all those moments I spent pointing at hot air balloons on summer days standing in front of the video while it rewound, or looking at my own suntan. I considered the time I spent looking for restaurants open after 9pm in small towns. I added in that day I got lost and ended up walking a nine-mile tetrahedron around Dumfries. I thought about the time spent looking at rabbits in a large municipal zoo, or those moments when I stop everything because I think I'm going to sneeze, but then don't sneeze. Adding it all up, I concluded that 44% of my life had been an utter waste of time. The ride stopped 10 seconds before impact. We were all changed utterly. This man spent all his money on a yacht which he then gave to the poor. This boy was traumatised forever. I decided to pack more into my life by doing everything quicker, since I now knew that with life you seldom get second chances.